night as gun violence sweeps across Marion County. Criminal justice leaders met tonight to talk about ways to end that crisis. Yeah, the city is on a record-breaking pace for homicides. CBS 4's Courtney Crown tells us what police need from neighborhood groups. They say they want to talk to each other more publicly. They say they want to have more of these meetings so they can get together and talk about their specific areas. Many of the key leaders of the Marion County criminal justice system publicly addressed one of the most pressing issues facing Indianapolis, violence. The conversation happened during the criminal justice planning council meeting. It was important to me, it was important to all of us to address those issues and then talk about what we're going to do going forward to make our city safe. Leroy Robinson, chair of the council's Public Safety and Criminal Justice Committee, advised the public it will take time and commitment to curb the violence plaguing Indy. And although we hear repeat calls for immediate solutions, there aren't any. So it's starting to be the bearing bad news. There's no immediate solution to these long-term systemic issues and root causes of violence. All around the table agreed there's no easy answers. So far this year, the city's poured roughly $6.6 .6 million into grassroots organizations addressing violence, mental health, and youth services. Every single month we put proposals together on the floor. Police Chief Randall Taylor says IMPD is achieving short-term success by taking hundreds of guns off the streets. They've done some incredible work really in really a short period of time. I'm very proud of them. Like those around the table, Taylor's take on crime reduction and prevention requires police and grassroots organizations working side by side. I think the missing element still is the fact that we don't have all the groups working together like they need to. Uh, you know, our officers are out there day and night, but they're responding to, to the, the bloodshed. We would much rather it come from the standpoint that someone is doing proactive work. Chairman Robinson says he hopes these meetings with the heads of the criminal justice system in Marion County happen at least monthly, if not more. Now, the next meeting of the council's Public Safety and Criminal Justice Committee will be on August the 9th. Reporting in the newsroom tonight, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News.